Good afternoon YouTube. How's it going guys? CFP here and this is Survival Living. So today, solar storms. Okay, now we have talked about this many times in the past. Earth is actually getting hit by a major solar storm today. So this is something I want to talk about right quick now. There's other channels that have been covering this for a while. One is Wages World. The other one is Marfigo News. They just released a short on this, going into more details on this. So they're actually saying that this thing might actually affect power grids. Now this is something we have been preparing for on this channel for a very long time. Chrono mass ejections, EMPs, basically anything knock at the power grid, cyber attack, things like that. Now this is, of course, from the sun. So the sun... In the history of the sun, we had the Carrington event that knocked out telegraph lines and affect what electronics was around during that time. So this is why we keep a lot of our equipment in built Faraday cages. My buddy Ryan over the Prescott Caliber Club, he uh, has those uh, Faraday bags from Off Trek. Those things are pretty nice. All these things are not not cheap. All right, we use EMP shield for our solar. We have uh, solar generators. We have solar on our trailer. There's solar back here in the yard. Right back there. That's not hooked up to the house. That's not even protected. That's a solar farm. I don't give a crap about that thing. Um, family had that put on their property to help with their power bill. It's, it's not worth the investment. Trust me on that. Now, our solar grid that we have on our trailer is. But now when we're talking about these solar storms, guys, this is why we actually did that one short video, that short film on uh, Chrono Mass Ejection, CME. It's a link up there for you guys. Enjoy yourself with that. That was my best acting career ever. <laughs> but anyway this is something we've been preparing for so guys if you got electronics right now I recommend go ahead and put in your uh, do-it-yourself Faraday cages that we've shown on this channel how to build if you have EMP shield hooked up on your equipment you're good to go anyway we have it on our vehicle we have it on our solar grid so we're safe in that department but we also have spare of everything we have spare panels we have spare parts for our panels we have soldering irons, we have extra cable, we have extra inverter, we have extra charge controllers, we have extra cables for the batteries, um, we have extra lugs, we got extras of a lot of things. This is something you should keep on hand, especially if you're going to plan on doing a solar grid anyway, because anytime it goes out, you got to have the parts to repair it. And if you're living off grid, it might be a while before you get parts. So anyway guys, with this storm, I don't know how bad it's going to be. I'm expecting most of these power issues are going to be in the northern area because that is where the auroras and stuff usually take place. So I'm thinking it's going to be around that area for the power grid fluctuations. I don't think we're going to have anything down here in the south end, but we're preppers for a reason. We prepare for everything, so that also includes, hey, something can happen here. So along with our power grid that is secured, my own personal power grid, uh, we have food, we have water stored, we have medical equipment, we have security, we have heating, we have cooling. Man, I love being a prepper. Alright guys, y'all take care. 